to a soccer. Not a game I've ever played, but I do always remember it being dirt cheap back in the PS1 era, just being that weird brand that I decided to never touch. Obviously, I was a massive football game fan. Um, ISS Pro Evolution on the PS1, Pro Evolution Soccer on the PS2 was my boy. That was more of a, a Pro Evo fan than a FIFA fan, all the way up, really, till late PS3. Uh, PS4 onwards when I obviously switched to FIFA so I don't know what this is going to be like my expectations are low just on the basis that it was always a budget-ish game I always saw it on, on offer will be England let's go against Scotland let's have a bit of a derby Johnson v Sturgeon I wonder who'd win that. That's an interesting idea. I don't know if I'd want a winner. <laughs> I'd certainly want a loser. What am I talking about? Anyway, um, yeah, so this isn't a franchise I've ever experienced. I know that they did other sports games. So they did actual golf, tennis, I think maybe an ice hockey game. Graphically, it's definitely not great it's already a bit of a downgrade I'd say on the FIFA game we played on um, 2002 World Cup gameplay standard X for a pass movements okay okay it already feels like the most bare bones experience I could really go for there's very little in the way of atmosphere the commentating and everything about it just feels very budget. Oh god. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. I'm going to be absolutely brutal, but I can already tell. It, with football, it's either it's either got it or it hasn't. You know, as as a big football game fan, you can tell pretty early is this going to be good or not. And I'm telling you now. <laughs> No. The only plus point I can give for this is the fact that for some reason it's sponsored by Cadbury's Twirl and Cadbury's Timeout. That might be a crunchy at the far end as well, I can't really tell. Yes, that's a crunchy. Okay, so it's sponsored by Cadbury's, so that's where a lot of the money went for some reason. Toss for adverts were loaded in the background, that is a game I did enjoy on PS1. In fact, I never played it on PS1, I had it on the Sega Saturn. But uh, that was a fun game. Certainly more so than Actua Soccer. Oh, a terrible name as well. Oh. Actua. You know, if you're going to go all that way, just call it Actual. I'm guessing they were trying to go for a mix of Actual and Virtual, maybe. That doesn't make any sense either. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this. Oh, you can switch the cameras just with L2. That's pretty cool. So you go top down, a bit like kickoff. The old game on the uh, Mega Drive and Super Nintendo and Game Gear. So one plus I can give it. I like the way you can switch cameras so quickly. But the actual gameplay is really, really, really poor. Um it's hard to put my finger on why you know it, it the, the the passing works it just it feels like the like oh, how do i describe this there's just no fun to be had <laughs> it's very hard to describe As was the case with 2002 FIFA World Cup, though. I cannot score. <laughs> At least on this I'm getting into the box a bit more. Oh, it's not good. It's not the worst PS1 football game, though. I do remember one called, I think it was Onside Soccer. That was terrible. I'm looking forward <laughs> to getting back to that just to experience it again. I remember being really excited to get it. As I was any PS1 game at the time. 
Let's see if second half maybe we can rectify the mess of that performance. It's just got nothing to it. It's. Um, I don't like to be brutal without reason and this kind of feels yeah. like I am because it's not like it's yeah. failing in any particular area it, graphically it's a PS1 football game they don't look great but I know for a fact yeah. you know that a lot do this this isn't a good looking one in comparison to some of its peers but I, I think the main thing you have to judge a game by isn't its appearance but its gameplay and how it feels to play Is it is it still fun I don't know if this ever was fun but it certainly isn't now. It's uh, it's just not got any kind of rhythm to it. Like the one plus I'll give it is the camera angles. Oh dear. Yeah, Cadbury's very strange sponsorship deal. A little ambitious that long ball. Oh come on! Oh my god! The shooting isn't great. By me, maybe not by the game. I can't really say for sure whether the game is hard to shoot on or if that's just me. Can't say I've not had chances. And another. Can really say about it. It, it it's lacking in atmosphere to the extent that it, it's um, it's boring to talk about and play and I'm sure I'll watch someone play <laughs> not talking the video up here but what, what else can I say about actual soccer even the box art is a disappointment you know, into or, or you know, it's accurate. It, it conveys the uh, the sheer banality of the game. I can't believe they've scored. <laughs> that sums it up. we go thank god that's over actual soccer it's um, a game I never ever want to play again or experience again uh, it's got good advertisements for twirl boost crunchy time out uh, and it's got a nice camera mode which you can switch your camera angles on the fly very quickly but in terms of gameplay very poor um, nothing interesting not a good game at all 